Hi there. Now, I'm going to present to you our abstract for this project. Let's start off with a simple question. Have you ever placed a needle or a toothpick on water and it floats on it rather than sink in the water? Well, that is because the surface tension of water acts on the needle. Now, what is surface tension? You see, surface tension is the property of the surface or liquid that allows it to resist an external force. It is due to the cohesive nature of the molecule. Now, our main purpose of the research is to investigate the different surface tension on different types of liquid, namely tap water, cooking oil, soapy water, perfume, and salt water, while the size of coin will remain the same. This experiment is super simple really. You take a dropper, and each liquid are dropped one by one carefully on top of the coin until the coin can't contain the liquid droplets. These few steps will be repeated 5 times to obtain precise data findings. Simple right? Now the initial assumption for the experiment is that water would have the highest average number of droplets on the coin, thus concluding that water would have the highest surface tension. Well I guess we'll see when the results came out. Now on to the introduction. Today I'm going to present about introduction of our experiment. Surface tension can be defined as a measure of how difficult it is to break the surface of liquid due to the cohesive nature of the water. In this experiment, water is said to have high surface tension since it can form four hydrogen bonds with other water molecules. Then, salt have higher surface tension than alcohol, soap water and cooking oil but lower than water. This is because when salt is dissolved in water, the chloride ion become negatively charged and the sodium ion is positively charged. Then salt will dissolve since the covalent bonds of water are stronger than ionic bonds in the salt molecule. However, the alcohol molecules and become less strong compared to water and salt water due to alcohol molecule have one hydrogen bond and they have some carbon hydrogen bonds that are non-polar. Soap water has the lower surface tension since soap decreases the surface tension of water. Oil molecules are weaker resulting in lower surface tension because lipids are hydrophobic, contain mostly hydrocarbon and form non-polar covalent bond which is weak bond. This results in a lower surface tension. The objective of our experiment is to identify which liquid has the highest surface tension and the characteristic of the liquid which contribute to its surface tension. In this experiment, we will investigate the effect of surface tension after a substance is added to.
compute the results, the average number of drops for water is 26 drops and the observation that we can see it is large and sub drop is formed. For the soap water, the average number of drops is 15 drops and the observation is small and sub drop is formed. For the cooking oil, the average number of drops is 8 drops and uh, the observation is small, very unstable drop is formed. For the salt water, 22, 20, 22 drops for the average number of drops and the observation that we can see it is large drop is formed. And lastly, for the alcohol, the, uh, the average number of drops is 18 drops and the observation that we can see uh, the small drop is formed. Why does it have a different observation? Um, yes, it is definitely because of surface tension itself. Don't worry, we will dive through it in more detail in our discussion. Based on the results obtained from the experiment, it is shown that water has the highest surface tension compared to other liquids. This is due to the higher degree of hydrogen bonds in water, which allows water to accept a large number of drops on the coin and create a large stable dome-shaped drop on the coin whereas oil molecule has the lower surface tension since oil has weak bonds and results in a lower surface tension. Coming up next is salt water which have a lower surface tension than water. Even though salt can increase the surface tension of water although not by any significant amount Salt can strengthen the hydrogen bonds and therefore results in a higher surface tension of water. On the other hand, soap, has, soap water has a lower surface tension because soap acts as a surfactant and surfactant stands for surface acting agent and therefore results in a lower surface tension for the water. And if we realize it or not, Surface tension can be found anywhere around us. It is used in our daily life. For example, surface tension is used by small insects such as water striders to walk on the surface of water by the help of collective hydrogen bonds. And another example is it is used in tricks such as blowing needles. Even though needles have a higher density than water, However, if the needle is put on water carefully and horizontally, it will float on water due to the surface tension of water. In a conclusion, water has the highest surface tension compared to other liquids, which are soap water, cooking oil, salt water, and perfume. Based on the result of the experiment, water has the larger number of drops compared to other liquids. We can observe that the drop of water large and stable. Meanwhile, small and unstable for soap water. Small and very unstable for cooking oil. Large drop of salt water and small drop of alcohol. The above result shows that water has the highest surface tension and cooking oil has the lowest surface tension. At the end of the experiment, we can determine which liquid has the highest surface tension and the characteristic of the liquids. That's all from us. Thank you.